So I'm not exactly off-road, but this is still the Mitsubishi Triton. It's a 4x4 model and if this is your first time watching, my name is Muhammad Fakir. Welcome to my channel. So we are stuck in a little bit of traffic, but that's because the Mitsubishi Triton is not just good on the uh, off-road or mountainous kind of roads, but definitely it's a really good for highway as well. I've got at the moment about 9.9 .9 liters of um, uh, 9.9 .9 liters per 100 kilometers. That's with my fuel consumption, and I generally did have around 10.9 uh, or 11. Um, at first I did get a little bit higher than that but yeah let's talk about the car so it's a 4x4 bucky or a pickup kind of vehicle whichever we which, don't know which country you are in but it's a liquor bucky don't know which country you are in google that if you are not from South Africa so like I mentioned it's a liquor bucky it's a really nice premium top of the range Mitsubishi Triton it's the 4x4 model and you can see on the exterior it's a really long car um, it's for a bucky or vehicle I must say for me it was very long and it doesn't exactly go in or slant in on the front but instead it kind of bulges out and I, I, I could never really put my finger on the the, at the, the front or the, the bonnet of the vehicle because I'm not always sure if the car is um, against the wall or if I'm parking it is or it becomes a little bit tricky with a car of the size. Now, um, looking at the vehicle, you can also see I've got a Kiko tonneau cover in the back, which is really cool. Um, oh, I had to Google that because I saw the Kiko name. Uh, it doesn't come with the vehicle, as you'll see, um, but it's definitely a cool finish, and I absolutely love the very simplistic design. Um, yeah. Now, looking at the pricing of this car, it's 675,000 or 670. 4,995 and yeah it's a 2.4 litre diesel bucky it's a six speed um, automatic uh, gearbox and it has a 75 litre tank for fuel capacity and I must say of course that is a massive uh, tank and I guess that's why the, the, the car with economy and being it being full it's definitely uh, fun to to have on the road especially in South Africa's um, fuel kind of economy so looking at the specs of the engine we've got a hundred and 133 uh, kilowatts of power and 430 newton meters of torque which is a whopping amount and that is definitely felt on this drive so like i mentioned it is an automatic vehicle and yeah it's it's very very nice very powerful and you can definitely feel that uh, powerful takeoff if you do put your foot flat down but what I do want to mention is that the handling is a little bit, uh, it's, 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 it's rugged, it's definitely that tough and it's not as kind of, uh, the car is not as quiet and not as uh, nippy, I would say, um, and flexible as, for example, a Toyota Hilux Bucky. But of course, it is going up in price, but this is the top of the range of the Mitsubishi Triton uh, model, unless you go for the extreme, which is very, for very rugged um, kind of terrains. Now, as you can see, the digital cluster, or it's kind of like a semi-digital cluster in the uh, center of the, of the vehicle for the driver. And you can see that there, there are two gauges, uh, your revs and your uh, speedometer, but you also have your kind of your, 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 your cluster or your screen in the middle, and that gives you your fuel consumption and yeah, your trips, uh, trip details. But we also have an infotainment system, and the infotainment system is a Sony one, and it does have Apple CarPlay but there's no built-in Wi-Fi on this vehicle now other than that I want to mention that they are apart from the steering wheel as you can see what's a big bonus in this car is the fact that you get a uh, you get your column mounted uh, pedal shifters now that's kind of weird or you get more you get that in a sportier car but I guess because this bucky or this uh, 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 van um, is really is quite uh, it's quite powerful I would say you definitely can make use of that uh, you obviously do have an automatic gearbox but if you want to make use of it then you can go ahead 
Heading onto the interior. Oh, before we get to onto the interior, I want to mention that you do will get your daytime running LED lights, which obviously I mentioned in all my videos. I love it. It just makes a car look up to date and uh, remove that outdated kind of finish. This is the kind of more Chinese or Asian uh, looking uh, um, um, uh, 4x4 uh, vehicle. And yeah, I mean, let's just move over to the, the front because as you can see, uh, the, the inside of the vehicle because the exterior of it in the silver mist or silver grey color is absolutely beautiful. They've, they've got a uh, leather interior, as you can see, uh, an armrest. Uh, which is pretty awesome and in the front we've got two cup holders and a very very spacious cabin but I think what's better is the passenger seats and at the back you've got a really good uh, 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 kind of space and leg room for your passengers but also uh, as I mentioned that this is the top spec automatic and this is of course a double cab which obviously is a more uh, friendly option if you are going to use this as your day-to-day -day vehicle as well as your camper or your off-road bucky vehicle for those uh, road trips or weekends or camping trips whichever you want to do so let's talk 4x4 experience i haven't had the opportunity to take it on uh, off-road uh, trip or journey but um we need to just mention a little bit of the details it's got your follow your um, tough lock modes and it's all activated by this kind of wheel uh, as you can see which you can also of course mention or uh, um, which you can of course change whether you're going uphill or downhill on uh, slopes or even if you are going into lower uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, slopes like experiences like a dam or kind of uh, a bridge and I think overall the vehicle is definitely uh, very capable um, because not only if it's not full but at the back we also have a very very big capacity um, we've got um, one one ton of payload capacity um, and uh, and then we've also got 1.5 liter or 1.5 tons of towing capacity which is massive many other reviewers uh, they have tested it out and say that you know you don't want to fill it too much but I mean that's up to you the vehicle should do that so definitely uh, give it a go or find out more about you or specialist 4x4s perhaps SA 4x4 and see the experience with uh, the vehicle on the 4x4 modes because it definitely does look capable so if you are looking for a Mitsubishi uh, and you are looking for a 4x4 the Triton is definitely the best in the game it has a very good reputation in the 4x4 realm and yeah that's the Mitsubishi Triton 4x4, uh, top of the range, automatic double cab. If this is your first time watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.